There's no indication yet of what Pope Francis will do. We know for sure that uh, the Cardinal met Pope Francis this morning at the Vatican behind closed doors. Uh, we understand he moved to tender his resignation, but there's been no formal confirmation of that. And does that mean only uh, resignation from the Archdiocese of Lyon or also uh, resignation from the College of Cardinals? We don't know. Uh, the Pope could take days or weeks before he decides whether to accept uh, this resignation. And there's no guarantee that he will. As you said, in the past, he said it would be an error or imprudent to accept that resignation. And I probably, I would probably say that the Pope would like to see the exhaustion of the appeals process uh, before he makes a decision. Having said that, we've already seen a case in Australia uh, where an Archbishop, Philip Wilson, uh, resigned after he was found guilty of covering up sex abuse. Uh, that was overturned on appeal, but he did resign. And we know that Pope Francis has taken a particularly strong stand on the issue of sex abuse. He says he's committed to uh, eradicating the, what he calls the scourge of abuse and any kind of cover-up within the Catholic Church. Indeed, that is exactly what he is saying. But in reality, can the Pope really and can the Church really move past this scandal which just keeps growing and growing? Well, it does, and it looks like it's going to get bigger before it gets any smaller because we've got several inquiries underway in the United States, and it's as if there are these little forest fires happening in various countries uh, that the Vatican is, is struggling to, to control and um, root out the corruption and the sex abuse that has been ongoing in many different places. Now, the Pope did take a strong stand last year in forcing the resignation of several Chilean bishops. Uh, We've seen the defrocking of the former Washington Cardinal uh, Theodore McCarrick over sex abuse. So definitely a change in approach and a sense that Pope Francis is uncompromising on this issue. Even though there is still plenty to be done, uh, he did hold that four-day uh, four uh, conference at the Vatican in February, trying to get that message out to various bishops in different countries that it is no longer tolerable to have any kind of sexual abuse underway uh, from clerics and certainly unacceptable for any kind of cover-up within the church. But I think the Pope would probably be the first to admit there's still plenty to be done at this point.